any idea that flashes through my head gets put down in a sketch. Everything is designed, experimented on paper and calculated. Starting from this reasoning, I have never shredded anything. These are thoughts, expressions and experiments that I have always believed in. Necessary steps on the way to subsequent transformations. In the 70s, the generative lines current was developed, composed of monumental works made of core 10 steel and designed to give new meanings to urban areas. They conveyed a sense of lightness and harmony, and featured voids in their forms. This was a fundamental link in the birth of the next cycle, which was known as Townscapes. These were projects that were never completed, designed to be built of painted steel and characterized by solid shapes within the urban fabric. These structures are found in a setting consisting purely of vertical elements, creating an inherent balance with the shapes already present based on special dynamics. I have recently become convinced that we must impose the shape's content onto its geometry. It's no accident that I use the example of the pyramids, which are the ultimate in geometric perfection and created using mathematical calculations. I believe that geometry is a truly classic canon, and with this I link myself to the ancients. Mathematics, if we consider it as generating the natural perfection and balance of our universe, it is the ultimate abstraction of art. Townscapes weren't intended to be simple sculptural and self-sufficient products in the urban fabric, rather, they were designed to become veritable structures to be used as doorways or as a spot to take a rest, based on relational criteria. Numerous problems were inherent in these works related to social and architectonic aspects, which lie outside simple sculptural research, in establishing a lucid vision of the context that was to receive the work. I exasperate the contrast between the environment and the work. But I always keep in mind a few suggestions made by the environment so that the work is never totally foreign, but raises questions because it is different. In the artist's mind, interventions are intended to create a dialogue between themselves and the surrounding buildings in order to rise above an urban syntax based on simply juxtaposing constructed volumes. They seek to encourage the establishment of a new connection, one that can generate a context of meaning for the day-to-day -day social experience. I don't believe I express a utopia. My reasoning has a concrete basis. I believe that the sculpture has to be something livable, not just contemplative. That's why I insist on the concept of urban design. So, I wouldn't call them sculptures anymore, rather structures. And these structures are perfectly linked to the next century, with skyscrapers, with the need to build upwards and no longer outwards. All of my designs need to live in open spaces because they are specifically oriented to public, collective views. At this point, the sculpture structure will become an integral part of the urban fabric because humans will see it as a spiritual necessity. They will feel the need to live it, to be inside it and immerse themselves in it. Of course art will have to be integrated, it will have to accompany humans in their daily lives making their stay more pleasant.